guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be working on the sawmill shed i've got some bracing i need to put up and i'm also going to be doing some work on the log deck um, i decided to make it shorter so another thing i'm going to have to do is i gotta straighten out this this end of the shed i don't know about the other end but this end is actually off level as you can see so i need to put some more bracing in there and i really haven't finished building it yet i've been using it just the way it is i built it last fall and i've basically just been using it the way it is without it being finished i guess the wind like shifted it a little bit so it's not quite level anymore so i gotta straighten it out and then what i'm gonna do is is put a six by eight beam across there where that two by eight is and some braces so anyway that's what i got going on today come along for the ride let's get it done Got the first beam up. got this one in here. The reason I'm putting this one in here is because I'm putting an angle brace on this big opening here and I didn't want it to just be pushing against this post. I wanted that bracing to transfer all the way down to the ground. That also gives it more stability or better bracing because your bracing will hold the most if you start from the ground and go up. So that's my plan with that. So yesterday I started working on these bracing and stuff in my shed and uh, I had cut some beams for the braces on the big opening and it turns out they were too short. So I ended up using those for some braces up there. So now I'm having to cut some new beams for the braces up in the big opening and I ran out of time last night. But it's a new day so we're going to see what we can get done today.
so I got two beams cut here and these are going to be plenty long enough now but I'm going to use the cutoffs for some smaller bracing in other parts of the shed. <laughs> Got my beams cut to length, got the angles cut on them. Now I'm ready to put those up in the opening there, but I'm gonna have to lift up on the middle somehow because it's such a wide span there, it's got a little bit of a sag in it. So I'm gonna try to lift up on the middle with the tractor and then put the braces in. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I've got a robin nest up there somewhere. Robin built a nest up there. He's sitting there watching me. Anyway, so here we go. Well, so it turns out that my angle on the top was off, so I'm having to recut this quite a bit. And that's looking pretty good. It actually went quite a bit better than I expected. I'm hoping that'll hold that up a lot better. I still need to put some big GRK screws in them to actually hold them in place. Um, I just tacked them with, I think, three and a quarter inch screws for now. So I'll need to go get some big lag screws to put in those later. And at some point soon, I'm also going to be finishing the siding. I'm going to be putting the little battens on there. And I need to put metal fascia around to protect those fascia boards from rotting out. And I'm not sure what else I'm going to do as far as siding goes. But I'd like to build a door here. Probably a swinging door. Or maybe a sliding door would be better. And i got to finish the siding up there and put some angle braces in there but other than that it's coming together all right guys that's it for today's video in my next video i'm planning to be reworking my log deck so stick around for that and i'll probably kind of explain how i built it and why i built it the way i did and uh, why i'm reworking it i hope to see you in the next video